Hello artistic friends, this is Susan Jenkins and welcome to another art lesson in Monet Cafe. I'm doing something a little different today. I typically do not do uh, a pen sketch before doing a watercolor. I'll typically just do pencil. And I thought I would try this because I've really been admiring the work of another uh, artist on YouTube named Peter Sheeler. His drawing skills are just so good and I love how he uses the Micron pen, or actually he uses a different pen, but it's similar to a pen like this. Uh, it's a Micron uh, ink pen that you can use to do your sketch prior to the watercolor and the great thing about this pen is that it will not bleed when you add the water to it. So I typically don't do this. I really like a loose impressionistic style typically. However, uh, he just inspired me and I think it's just so neat that that's one of the greatest things about being on YouTube and exploring other artists is that it's just inspiration to try something new. And I think that's why I made my channel here is because even though I'm primarily a pastel artist, I always love trying new things. And it's just neat to share because it's a way others can see my journey as an artist in learning and growing. I am so appreciative to other artists who uh, share their work along the way. So today I am going, I've already done the little sketch here and I'm going to be adding the watercolor. And I just basically have, this is my travel watercolor set that I have here. And it, it really works, you know, quite well for all watercolor needs. It's a neat little set that has a, uh, a little thumb part in here. Now, unfortunately, I've added some of my colors in here, so I can't really use it this way. Um, and uh, it's just a nice little set. So that's what I'll be using. And here we go. We're going to have some fun. So grab you some coffee or some tea and get ready to learn about art.
I wanted to share a little bit more of my experimentation. Is that a word? Experimenting. <laughs> and um, using this product. And I decided I would go ahead and try to see how it would behave if I, I thought all this was too dark in here. So I just took um, this product, I took a, a wider uh, brush, dabbed it with some water, and um, just got a little water on it like this. And I just started washing over this here. I'll do a little, whoa, that got really white. Um, I'll just show you kind of how I do it. You can kind of control how much to lighten it. And it's actually, um, well, I'm not a fan of this painting. I'm, I'm using this more as an experiment than anything. Um, I am using this to really learn and see what I can do with um, new ideas and new products and things. And that's what art is about a lot of times, is just uh, playing around and seeing what you can do. That's how um, all artists learn new things. It's just by experimentation and um, having fun. Uh, I decided even in my reference photo, though the pot was not terracotta colored, I just thought it made a nice contrast with everything. So I'm going to play around with this a little bit more, maybe in a little bit more of a shadow behind this door. It'll really make it look like it's sticking out. And um, I might choose to uh, fill in a little, little bit more of these leaves, soften up a little bit, keep these a little bit more um, uh, detailed, and maybe blur some of these out a little bit more. Because what we have the wonderful ability to do as artists is we have the ability to control where the viewer's eye goes. And I want the viewer's eye to play around in this little bit, like to come into the painting, and obviously this window is the key focus, um, but to bring the eye in and just kind of focus and meander around a little bit and exit the painting. So it's got kind of that nice feel going right now. So anyway, I'm gonna play around a little more and as always, we're learning new things and having fun. All right, let's do it. Okay, so here's where I ended up. And there's a lot of things I like about this little watercolor and some things I don't, but I was able to learn in this process and correct some things. I did like, um, like I said, I've never done the, the pen and ink totally as a sketch underneath a watercolor before. I do like some of the things about that and I'll learn more as I go. I like having the detail in some areas, such as the window and the door. I didn't like having it everywhere, so I'll learn as I move forward with that. But I did like this product and how I was able to use it to kind of um, impressionize places I didn't like, make them a little bit more impressionistic and softer, which was neat. And I'm sure I'll learn more as I work with that product. But anyway, I hope you guys learned something. This was fun, if anything else. And um, it's always great to have you guys here. If you like my channel, please subscribe, make comments, feel free to uh, make suggestions as to upcoming videos. And I'm just so glad you were here with me today. Thanks so much. See you again soon.